Hello everybody and welcome to Arabic with Amina. Today's lesson is going to be about plural words in Arabic. In English, we already know what the plurals are. If it's one thing, it's singular, and if it's more than one, it's plural. In Arabic, it's a little bit different. In Arabic, we do have a singular where it is one thing, called munfarid. And then there is a plural, just like English, but it's a little bit different. First of all, plural in Arabic is jamar. But plural in Arabic refers to a number of three or more. Unlike English, where two can be a plural. If it's two, it's called another thing. It's called a dual or muthanna. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on plurals. If you'd like to know more about duals, please check out our other video concerning that matter. First of all, it's important to know, is the word you're talking about masculine or feminine? If you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out the masculine and feminine words video first. Now on to the plurals. In Arabic, there are three patterns of plurals. The first is jam'a mudakkir salim, which is sound masculine plurals, as implied from the name, this applies to words that are masculine. The second type is jam'a mu'annath salim, which is sound feminine plurals, Again, this applies to feminine words. And then there's a third pattern called jam'a taksir, or broken plurals. This pattern of plurals doesn't really follow any rules, and so it is called broken, or sometimes called irregular. First off, we're going to be starting by talking about the jam'a mu'annath salim, or the sound feminine plurals. As mentioned, this applies to feminine words. Jam'a mu'annath salim is quite straightforward. We have a rule to which we're going to apply to our words. So first we're going to be talking about nouns, and this noun is a feminine. And our rule is that we will add to the end of the word alif ta, or at. And that makes our noun plural. It's quite simple and quite straightforward. So this is our rule for jam'a mu'an the salim. We're going to start now with a few examples. Start with the word muslima. Muslima refers to a female Muslim, and now we are going to apply the rule of adding alif ta to the end. So we will make the word muslimat. Muslimat. Please notice that the ta marbuta of the word is omitted and instead is only alif ta added. So this last letter right here is removed. Let's try that with another word. Mu'allima, which is female teacher. Again, adding our alif ta to the end. And mu'allimat, teachers, female teachers. A last example, la'iba, player. Add the alif ta, la'ibat. Unlike English, the plural form also applies to adjectives and not just nouns. So we're going to take our same rule that we had for the nouns. But now we are talking about adjectives. It's the same rule where we are going to where we are going to be adding alif ta to the end of the word and make it a plural adjective. Again, this also applies to feminine words. So let's take a few examples now. Jamila, which means beautiful. Add the alif ta. Jamilat. Remember, we omitted the last letter, which is ta marbuta, of this word. Jamilat. Another example, the kia, which means smart. Add the alif ta, the kiyat. Now let's put together what we learned about making plural nouns and plural adjectives. We're going to start off by explaining this in English so you can see how the difference is in Arabic. Our example is going to be beautiful Muslim. If we were to make this plural in English, we would say beautiful Muslims. Notice how the S is only added to the word Muslim. The adjective beautiful is not transformed into a plural form. Now, let's translate this to Arabic. Beautiful Muslim is Muslima Jamila. Now we're going to turn it into the plural form. It'd be Muslimat Jamilat. Notice how, unlike English, the noun and the adjective are put in the plural form. And now we're going to be talking about Jamar Mudakkar Salim, the sound masculine plurals which apply to masculine words. 
these also have a rule which they follow where we have a noun and we will add letters to the end of the noun. So the rule is we're going to take the singular masculine noun and according to its position in the sentence, whether it is a nominative case or an accusative and genitive case, we are going to add wow noon in the case of nominative and ya noon if it is accusative or genitive. If you don't know what these cases are, it's okay. You can just add either wow noon or ya noon and your grammar might be a little wrong, but you did turn it into a plural form. So we're going to start with a few examples. Muslim, here we are referring to a male Muslim. The female Muslim was Muslima and the male Muslim is Muslim. We're going to add it to the wow noon at the end of the word, making it Muslimun. And if it was in the accusative or genitive case, we would add ya noon and make it Muslimin. Another example, Muallim, a male teacher. Add the wow noon, Muallimun. Or add the ya noon, Muallimin. And our final example, Laib, male player. Add the wow noon to the end, Laibun. Or add the ya noon to the end, Laibin. The same thing applies to Jama'a Mudakkar Salim. We can make the noun plural and we can also make the adjective form plural. So again, with our rule, now we are simply talking about adjectives. It's the same rule, add wow noon or ya noon. Mujtahid, which means diligent. Add wow noon, mujtahidun. Or ya noon, mujtahideen. Another example, muthabir, which means persistent. Muthabirun or Muthabirin. Now again, let's take what we learned and actually put it into action. We are going to be talking about a noun and describing it by an adjective in the singular form and in the plural form. So our example is going to be diligent teacher. To make this plural in English, we would say diligent teachers. The plural form is applied only to the noun in English. We do not turn the adjective into a plural form. Now let's translate this into Arabic. Diligent teacher would be Mu'allim Mujtahid. And to make this into the plural form, we are going to transform both the noun and the adjective into the plural form, making it Mu'allimun Mujtahidun. And for our final pattern of the plurals in Arabic, it is jama taksir, or broken plurals, or sometimes called irregular plurals. Irregular plurals do not follow any rules, and unfortunately, you must just know how the plural form of these words are. These words usually do follow some patterns. However, I don't recommend you memorize the patterns and instead just memorize how the plural form for each word is. There are so many patterns that it's not efficient for you to memorize the patterns. I personally don't even have all the patterns memorized. I just know how the plural form of the word is. However, for the sake of completion in this video, I will show you some patterns. For example, this is a pattern where it is on the weight of the word fa'al. This is the single form of the word. For example, talib, we would change it to tulab. Tajir would be tujar. You can see that they kind of are the same when you pronounce it tulab, tujar. However, it's not that this rule applies to every word. And it doesn't matter if the word is feminine or masculine, it, it could have a broken plural. Another pattern would be this one, which is sadiq, astiqa, tabib, atibba. Another one would be najm, nujum, bait, buyut. Another jabal, jibal, rajul, rijal. Another Gurfa, Guraf, Sura, Suar, and there are many, many more patterns. And this is why I really don't recommend you memorize the patterns. It's simply easier for you to know what the single form and the plural form of the word is. Now, to summarize what we learned in this video, we were learning about the plurals in Arabic, and we know that there are three types of plurals. There is Jama' Taksir, which is the broken plurals, and these words they are irregular. The other type of plurals was Jama' Mu'annath Salim, the sound feminine plurals, and this did follow a rule where we add alif ta to the end of the word. 
The other type of plurals was jam'a mudhakkar salim, or they sound masculine plurals. And this also followed a rule where we added the letters waw noon or ya noon to the end of the word. Now to put what we learned to the test, we're going to have a short quiz. These are words and they are all in the plural form. I want you to tell me which type of plurals they are. Here is the summarization of our video if you'd like to refer to it. And these are the plural words. So take a moment, if you'd like, pause the video, think about which type of plurals each word is. We're going to be starting the Arabic way from the right to left. So we're going to be starting with this word. So if you'd like more time to think, please do pause the video. So now we're going to be starting with the first word, which is masajid or mosques. Well, this word didn't follow any of the rules that we had. It's not having an alif ta at the end and it's not having a wa noon or ya noon at the end. This is going to be a jam'a taksir or broken plural. Aqlam, pens, again, doesn't follow any of the rules which we learned of and so seems irregular jam'a taksir. Musafirun, travelers, hmm. We can see that this word ends with the wa noon at the end. So this is most likely going to be jam'a mudhakar salim. Yep. Muzari'een, farmers. Again, this word ends with ya noon. So it's going to be jam'a mudhakar salim. Nabatat, plants. This follows the rule of jam'a mu'annath salim. Sayarat, again, alif ta at the end, jama'a mu'annath salim. Mudun, cities, not having any of the rules we learned of, so it's going to be jama'a taksir. Fannanun, jama'a mudhakkar salim. Talibat, jama'a mu'annath salim. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please do subscribe, like, share, comment on this video and let me know, did you answer correctly? Did you find this video useful? I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. See you next time.